What it do, Juice Crew? What it do, what it do, what it do? Your girl is back. Big. Big with another video. Um, Yes, you guys. I am wearing the same outfit probably as I did in the last video. That's because it's the same day. So, and I'm just doing these videos back to back because I'm trying to get out content to y'all. And when I have an idea, I might as well just go ahead and do it so that Again, we can go on a web up. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about am I obligated to tell somebody that I had surgery? Now, for me, I've always been, I'm a Libra at that. So, Libras are always, for me, the ones that I know, they're open books. Like, we'll, we, I can meet a stranger. First of all, I'm very sociable. I can meet a stranger and talk to them and tell them my business because, and not even just realize that I'm just running my mouth a little bit too much. So, I can meet a stranger five minutes later, they know half my life. Because I just, I'm just, I've always been an open book. I've always, I can always tell people my business, even though that's not, it's not always a good thing because people will try to use that against you. People will try to do whatever they want with that little information that you gave them and try to predict your whole life. Even though you probably told them a lot about your life within the little five minutes that you talked to them. But when it came to the surgery thing, at first, I was not want to tell anybody because I didn't want the criticism. I didn't want people saying, don't do it or you don't need it or it ain't going to do this. It's not going to do that. I did not. I kid you not, did not want to tell nobody. Like, I told certain people, like, at my job. Um, I've told people in my family that has had surgery and got their opinion on it or whatever. But when I have something in my head, like I told y'all multiple times, it ain't going nowhere. Like, it's I got to do it. Like, I wanted it, so I had to do it for myself. Um but people are always going to try to be in your mix. People are always going to try to get something out of you. Like, baby, I had surgery. I will say that. I will I will say that in a heartbeat. Did you have? Yes, I sure did. What are you going to do about it? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand why people always try to be in your mix. Like, what does me, what does me, me, little homie, me, have to do with you? Like, people will be so mad that I've got surgery, or people will be so mad that somebody got surgery, and they want to downplay them. Oh, you not this because you did this to your body, or you you not real. Baby, I am real just because my body. It's always the ones that wanted surgery or considered it sometime in their life that always be mad because you got it. Baby, if you want the surgery, save up. If you can't save up that much, save up. Get it get it two years down the line and save up $25 for your check, each check or whatever, $100 per check. Like, you can get it too. You just ain't dedicated. I save up all the time because I have goals for myself. So every check I get, I save up. So when the opportunity came, I had way more than enough money to get what I wanted. So you know what I did? I got what I wanted. But people, but there are different type of people. Like there are some people that don't want people in their business. They don't want um, people to know that they had surgery. They want to keep that to themselves. They don't prefer to speak on it. They don't prefer to tell you. And there's some people that say may say no, but they didn't have surgery. And when certain, I feel like when okay when you have surgery. You see so many bodies. Like, can you do your research? You do this. You know how certain bodies look that has had surgery. So you just be like, when you see somebody, and sometimes you even know. I got two girls that I know that had surgery before, but they will tell people that they did not have surgery. They will tell them up and down that they did not have surgery. Their body is natural, and 
that would be okay if it was. But me knowing that it's not, it's just like, you don't even have to answer the question, but why would you lie about it? But that's, again, your business. You prefer to keep your stuff on a DL. You prefer not to tell nobody. That's cool. That's your business. That's you. I don't see a problem with that. I don't see an issue with telling somebody that I had surgery. I don't see an issue with telling them that I went under the knife and I paid my money that I worked for to get something that I wanted. If you want to keep that under wraps for you, by all means, boop. My thing is, I don't like liars. So don't sit up there and say you did not have surgery and swear up and down and I did not, I did not, I did not have surgery. Baby, I was in the surgery room next to you. So how did you not? Like, you can keep that stuff under wraps that you don't have to lie. You can be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. did you have surgery? Be like, why? Why does it matter? But don't sit up there and lie about it. Lie about it all you want to. I really don't care because I'm going to keep it real with my supporters. I'm going to keep it real with people in people that DM me, people that Facebook me, people that do all that. But you are not obligated to tell nobody that you had surgery. You do not have to tell nobody that you had surgery. That is your business. That is your life. You do as you please. That's something that you're not obligated to do. Um, personally, I just don't like when people lie about it. Because what? It, well, why lie about it? Like, you wanted something and you did it for yourself. You paid for it yourself. Like, What's the point of lying about it? I understand not wanting people in your business, stuff like that, which I understand because I didn't want to tell nobody before I had surgery that I was having surgery. But I said, you know what? There's going to be girls out there that probably are thicker and want surgery, but don't think they can get it because of their size. or don't think they can get it because this, this, and that. So I said, let me, let me show on my YouTube my journey. So I showed them my journey, and I've got a lot of amazing feedback, like a lot of good feedback, which is what literally keeps me going. Because there's some days where I just be like, you know what, I'm over it. Um, because it is discouraging sometimes when you put out, when you feel like you're putting out good work and it's not getting noticed or you're not getting the views like you will see somebody else post a video and get 10,000 views in an hour and you're at like 200 views so but I'm gonna keep going because those 200 views will one day be 2,000 views which will one day be 200,000 views but um no you're not to me you're not obligated just for me it's just the line thing that's just in general with anything I'm not obligated to tell you that I had surgery if you ask me, I don't have to answer that question. Like, I don't have to say, if I don't want to say it, I don't have to say it. Nobody has to say it. You don't have to know. You can, it, why, do, why does it matter? Why are we so focused on what other people do with their lives? Like, me having surgery isn't hurting you. Me having surgery isn't doing nothing for you. Is it, It's not benefiting you. It's not doing nothing. If my, if I had a man, if my man was, and even if I had a man, if he if he was not satisfied, so you can go too. <laughs> you can go right out the door with uh Billy, Mike, May, Sim, Sim, Sierra, Taylor, and Billy Goat. Like y'all can go out the door if you don't if you don't support my decisions because I'm gonna hold myself down regardless. But yes, yeah, so um, people in your surgery groups, if you do have surgeries, they will always show you the good and the bad, the ugly and something like that. But you're always going to have supporters. Like, people that got surgery by your same doctor, they're usually going to support you. They're usually going to be there for you and be able to talk to you. I talked to, I personally became friends with one of my supporters that kept me updated on her surgery. And we still, we literally talk every day. We message each other every day. Um, and just talk about anything. So, like, because... I'm easy going, so y'all want to DM me and become my friend? Come on, do so. That sounds so. Anyways. Yes, yeah, so if y'all have had surgery and y'all have contacted me, continue to contact me and tell me y'all updates and tell me how y'all liked it and y'all experience with my doctor if you went to my doctor or if you didn't. Uh, 
hit me updated keep me posted but yeah that's the end of this video something short and sweet to tell y'all y'all you you don't know how to tell nobody anything that you do with your life. You don't have to tell them you had surgery. You don't have to tell them you did this. You don't have to tell them you did that. You don't have to tell them. I don't have to tell y'all I got in my new apartment. I have to tell y'all I got a new up, uh, upgrade at the job. Uh, but I wanted to. So respect people's uh, respect people's lives. All uh, mm, lives, Black Lives Matter. Uh, all people should respect other people's opinions that's what i was trying to say with that all people's opinions matter lies the fuck my opinion matters mine mine my opinion matters anyways thank y'all for watching this video thank y'all for tuning in we're going nowhere but up and i love y'all so 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 much and this is